Hello YouTubers, I'm back for another Star Wars action figure review. This time it's on the vintage um, Star Wars wave. And that of course is um, doing a review on Snoke from The Last Jedi, so let's get on with it. Now, when I heard about they were releasing um, this guy, I really wanted to get it because if you look at it in hands, it's a really fantastic figure, a real likeness to what Snoke looked like in the... Um, um, in that mo movie, so basically we got like the old wrinkles and scars. Um, he's also got the um, wrinkles and scars. Uh, his hands, hands are, are very wrinklish as well. He's even got a ring right here on on his finger. So yep. Uh, and then he's got uh, rings right, and he's just got a standard arms. Um, if we look at his, like, shoes or slippers, whatever you like to call them, uh, they're a gold colour, and as you can tell, this side of his slipper is not painted properly. So, th that must have been, like, a factory era. Not really that fast, because it's usually covered up by his, um, gold robe. Now, his gold robe is made of some sort of fabric, uh, material, which they've used before on other Star Wars fig figures for their long overcoats. Um, his belt um, is really long and I'm um, not sure if it is removable, so I actually don't want to take it off. So if we just um, lift his top part of his robe up, you see he's got like these um, white trousers, so yep, that are underneath like his um, robe. So, so for articulation wise, uh, his head uh, can do a 360, you must be careful because it might um, make this thing off so be very careful um he's got his bolt jointer um i believe he's bolt jointed yep it can be a real pain in the ass um he also does um his arms can do a 360 uh um um he, he's got foot articulation but it's very stiff uh his legs can go out out um he's got like thigh articulation so yes, um, uh, he's got even got like um, um, crutch articulation. So his crutch or pelvis, whatever you call it, uh, can do a three sixty. Um, his um uh, hands, he has articulation at his hand joint. So yep, yeah, they're very stiff. So yep. Yeah. Um, uh, yep, uh, yep, overall a really fantastic figure for what it is, um, I should also point out that, um, um, Snoke has also got these real battle scars at the back of his head, uh, I don't think you can see it with the camera, let's just get my hand in the way, so yep, a battle scar right there. Um, even from on the side of his head, um, so yeah, and I gotta say, it, it's a real nice like, like, likeness to Snoke. Now, as you know, he does make, he made his debut in The Force Awakens, um, in holographic wise, and, and, uh, he didn't make his, um, full on-screen appearance in, the, of what he actually, what, on-screen appearance. And, uh, a real, overall, what a, oh, sorry about that, it just fell over. So overall, a really fantastic figure, I really like, really like this figure. Such for the vintage, uh, for the vintage Star Wars rave, uh, the vintage Star Wars wave. Um, I would love to see them, to see Hasbro going back, going for the, the standard range, to go having more articulation again. Again, because that's what made this um, this figure free figure range so successful in sales. So hopefully, somewhere in the future, they may go back to the articulation ways. So overall, a really fantastic figure for what it is. Um, I def this is definitely worth a buy. Um, I might get and purchase another one just to keep in packaging. So overall, yep. Yeah, 
fantastic figure without without a doubts. Okay, Lino now and bye and uh, not forever. This is Kevin Dave signing off. Bye.